Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Makaya. I'm back and I'm black and I'm back and I'm black and I'm back and I'm black and I'm back and I'm black. And today I'm bringing you all a holiday gift guide. This is my first time doing this. I love the Christmas spirit. Um, I just love everything about the holidays, not more so of just like the gift giving, but the vibe, being around family. I love being around family, loved ones, and people that really have, you know, the best interests of you. So today I'm going to give you all guides on what to give for your loved ones, your boo thing, your friends, and all of the above. Whether this is Secret Santa gifts, work gifts, I'm giving a little bit of everything. Um, and this could be catered to men and women as well. But before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to see more of me. And if you're new, hey, hey, hey. And if you're a returner, I really appreciate the love. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Oh, and also I want to talk about these dreadlocks that I got um, sent to me by the company that I'm going to have in the description box. And I absolutely love these crochet dreadlocks, actually. And my sister did them. She is a person who can slay anything okay and i love these so if you are interested in this it will be right in the bio this is from amazon and this could be another little cute gift for some women that love to do hair for some hairstylists so on and so forth first on the list it can go towards male and females or anybody of any type of doesn't matter who they are you can never go wrong with nike sweatshirts and sweatsuits um, so if you do not have the funds to necessarily get the sweatpants and the sweatshirt, I recommend just getting the sweatshirt because that also can go with some jeans, um, style it very nice. But if you do have the funds, it's in, it's would be nice to like get different colors, red, blue, black, um, just to mix it up for that individual. Because I know a lot of people may have Nike sweatsuits or may not have. We don't know everyone's economic status, but you can never go wrong with this. Nike has a very nice basic but crisp sweatsuit look i love sweatpants sweatsuits whatever you can think of two pieces that's all me so that would be a really good gift guide to give um, one of your loved ones or honestly anyone so i do most definitely recommend that next for a male it would be nice or a female but this is specifically catered to males at this moment right now you can get a nice little yankee fitted um you can even get what's that team called a dodgers fitted you can get different fitteds um, and that would be really cute. Um, a lot of women nowadays are wearing fitteds as well. I wear fitteds. Um, you can dress that up and make that cute and put it like with another gift. Or that could be the only gift depending on who it is. And even nowadays people in broad, in broad, is that the word? Whatever, y'all know what I mean. They put the names of the individuals on their hat or if that is your boot thing, you could put your name on it or so on and so forth. You could just do different things while putting somebody's name on it. So I think that would be cute. And that's also something cute you could do as well. Put their nickname, you know, anything. Next we have Converse's. Converse's are a nice little basic but affordable shoe that you can never go wrong with. Pretty much everyone likes Converse's. They're a basic shoe. You can either get black, blue, all different kinds of colors. I would stick with black because even if that, well, the black on white or the all black, because even if that person necessarily may not go crazy over Converse's, they may like it because it's a simple shoe. Like I wouldn't go giving a person an outrageous color unless you know them and you know, like directly really, really know that they like that. But if this is for like, you know, surprise, you're just trying to see, I would get the all black or the black on white and that would be really cute to set it off. Next we have the all white G Bezos, okay? Air Force Ones. I love a crisp Air Force One. Even if somebody already has Air Force Ones, it never hurts to get it because you know how Air Force Ones will crease a little bit um, and they may get dirty depending on how long the individual has had it. I would most definitely recommend getting someone a pair of Air Force Ones even if they already have some. You can never go wrong. You can never have too many. One could be for off the play. One could be off if you're trying to pop off pop out i said pop off pop out so i most definitely recommend that next i know you all have seen these bags the bag called the tote bag i prefer the bigger ones rather than the smaller ones but i do need to cop myself one as well because i think it's cute um you can never go wrong with this it's over a hundred dollars but certain bags like louis v's um dior bags they're up there they're like a thousand dollars whereas this bag 
is a nice cute bag that you can never go wrong with and it's simple you can dress it up you can dress it down so i'm pretty sure that many people be like okay i like this i'm rocking with this like i said if you don't all the way know if that person will like it you can never go wrong with getting like a black or blue because then they can wear it for like an everyday type look and you can't go wrong with it. They can wear it as a book bag if they're in school. They can wear it as, you know, for their notebooks and stuff for work or for their paperwork for work. It's just like, you cannot go wrong with this bag. And next we have some perfumes, okay? Perfumes can be a little tricky depending on who it is. But if you know this person, you know kind of what they'll smell if they, I say you know if they'll, what they'll smell. You know what they'll like. So if I'm getting something from my mother, I kind of know like, okay, if I kind of like this smell, she'll most likely like this smell. Or you could sometimes go with basic smells. So I'm just gonna run down a few perfumes that I like and I think are good. So we're just gonna run them down. You could try it out yourself, go inside the mall, they'll let you try them. But I like YSL, this YSL perfume. I can't think of the name right now, but it'll be right on the screen. I absolutely love this YSL perfume, okay? It's bomb, it's official, don't play with it, okay? And majority of people, ooh, excuse me. Majority of people will like this smell, okay? You can't go wrong with it, majority of people will like this smell, and then they'll thank you. Next, we have this Dior perfume. Like I said, you can't go wrong with this. It's a nice, crisp, but elegant, sexy, grown perfume. And lastly, I have the Chanel one. Like I said, elegant on your grown stuff. Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret perfumes are cool for like an everyday type thing or randomly if you're about to go to the store. But when you're trying to pop out or you about to go to a business thing or whatever the case may be, I recommend putting these high class perfumes on. And I think it would be good to set off someone's gift or this can honestly be their only gift because it's expensive. I'm not gonna lie, it's over $100. Some people don't believe in paying that much for perfume, but for me, I think it's good quality over quantity, okay? And you can also get these colognes as well. It doesn't hurt anybody to have those. They have, there's so many other perfume out there, so many other cologne out there. I'm just naming a few that you can have that can set off your gift. Next we have hair products. I love hair products. I love getting my hair done. So you can never go wrong with putting in, in addition to whatever you have and give them, some Camilla Rose, some IL products. They just had their Black Friday sale and I most definitely cop some. So you can get those type of things, specifically black owned, okay? And get those products to put in the stockings, to put in their bag. Like if you got them a Nike sweatshirt with Camilla Rose set, boom, you're done. So I believe in like, putting gifts together to make it more and make it more like, oh my gosh, they really got me this. And it's like, you thought about this, then you thought about this, and then you put it together. So kind of like thinking about what that person likes as well and knowing how to twist it with, okay, I can afford this. So let me try to twist it what they like. Just really think about that person. Cause I love just giving gifts in general. It doesn't even have to be Christmas. And I love just giving. I love giving, especially when I love you and I really care about you. When I give gifts, like I really, really care. Um, so I really love that, you know, to see the person's face and be like, oh my gosh, thank you. Or like, thank you so much. I really appreciate this. Or I wouldn't have thought you would have got this. Like, I love hearing that. Next, we got the Tims. Okay. You can never go wrong with a pair of Tims, especially the regular basic tan ones or the black ones. You can never go wrong with them. I need to find my Tims. I collect Tims. I have all different kinds of colors. I only know where my pink ones are. I'm not sure where the rest of my colors are, but I'm pretty sure there's somewhere in my grandmother's upstairs or whatever, but I can't find them now, but we'll be able to find them soon. But I love Tim's, they're so crisp, they're clean. Like you could just never go wrong with a pair of Tim's. Even if somebody already got a tan pair, they get dirty. Depending on, especially some people don't know how to keep them clean. So you most definitely can get another pair. It doesn't hurt, especially if you know you like, if you know they like Tim. Next we have a Polaroid camera. A lot of times the Polaroid camera is inexpensive. You can get it off of Amazon, various different things. You can get it in different colors, depending on that person's favorite color. And you can also add a few Polaroids in there. Now listen, Polaroids are expensive, but a lot of times the sets that they have come with it. So you can't go wrong with it as well. You get what I'm trying to say? So you can't go wrong. But I most definitely do recommend you getting someone a Polaroid camera because it's like, who doesn't like taking pictures, okay? Who doesn't like creating memories, okay? Next, we have Funko Pops. I literally love Funko Pops and maybe the child in me. 
but they're so cute they're good for like decorations you could decorate your office with them you can decorate your room with them i'll just show various different ones on the screen because i like funko pops i haven't geeked out and ordered too too many like i want to because i have nowhere to put them at currently so i really want to like when we move and when we space everything out where i'm at and kind of get it together i'm going to be excited to have like a whole table or a whole area catered to funko pops okay because they're cute they're nice like i'm gonna just keep showing so many different random ones while i'm talking because they're cute okay next we have some press on nails as you all can see i don't have any nails on if you look at my past videos if you are a returner i used to love getting acrylic nails and i felt off like i always go back and forth and back and forth with having acrylic nails and not having acry acrylic nails until something got resurfaced back to my mind press on nails like, how could I forget about press-on nails? Cheap, inexpensive, you throw them on, you throw them off. For certain occasions, I don't wanna have my, like all my long nails on. And for other occasions, I don't mind having my long nails on. So just knowing how to mix it up, just knowing how to switch it up, I think that's what I love about lash extent. I said lash extensions. Mm -mm, I don't do lash extensions. <laughs> that's what I love about press-on nails. And I was gonna say that that's what I also love about fake eyelashes, like false eyelashes. I can take them on and off. For certain occasions, I want my lashes on. For other occasions, I don't want my lashes on. Like right now, I love my natural face. I don't want any lashes on. But in other occasions, okay, let me throw them on. I want my lashes on. So I, that's the kind of, that's the same concept I love about with press on nails. If you want them on, you can have them on. If you don't, you don't. Lastly, we have a massage like gift card, a massage voucher, something that really embodies self-care and embodies like comfort. That will really light up somebody's day because people don't really realize how good massages are. I literally got a massage for my birthday and if you all see my vlog, you know, and it was one of the best things ever why I wanna start going on a monthly basis because you can never go wrong with a massage. Like you can never go wrong. It's peaceful, it's beautiful, it's calming. Like even my tone and my voice got calm because of that. And I just think everyone will like a massage, honestly, everyone. So getting somebody a massage voucher or like a spa gift card, I think that would really light up somebody's day. And especially be like, oh my gosh, especially we'll say somebody's never been to a spa or never had a massage. They're like, mm, okay, this is different. I wouldn't have expected this. Then they go and they end up being a returner, okay? So I thank you all for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to see more of me. And I'll see you all in the next video. Stay blessed. You don't gotta put your cup down. Hold on. Drink freely. Yeah. Holla at me if you need me. Maybe you should enjoy.